this is the Ava application. This is actually what we have the description here for. So sorry, when working on that one, I should have had a different description. Uh, this is the one we plan to release uh, shortly for you to play with. You can uh, now set your noise uh, levels. Uh, that's uh, the noise level at default. Uh, you can obviously still play the game as in the original tool. Oops, not doing well anyway. Not paying attention. That's the normal ECG. So I should get 10 points for not clicking on it. And this one missing a bit. So I do click on it and get another 10 points. So I got one hit, one miss. And the current bot, which we changed the parameters of, is uh, doing badly. It's uh, essentially clicking on everything. Uh, so I can win the bot, except that, yes, we can uh, kind of artificially tune it up and it will work much better. Uh, ideally, we try not to use any magic numbers in the algorithm. So it's uh, so the thresholds and everything are just uh, uh, there as if they were provided by yeah, so those are the rules. So this is the fuzzy logic analysis. We're looking, uh, before we're looking at amplitude, positive peak, negative peak, abnormality and frequency. Now we got rid of frequency, we're looking at the sharpness of the R peak. So we're assuming the R peak is the highest uh, positive peak. And then we're going, I think, half a way um, measuring the distance between uh, you know left and uh, right coordinates in it that that uh, works uh, fine then we normalize it so we get a 0.4 sharpness for like a regular thing and a 0.1 for a less uh, sharp uh, r peak so that's uh, working fine except there's still something wrong so for this signal, it um, made the decision that it's an abnormal ECG because the abnormality score didn't go low enough. And that's a problem. Um, and this is because we haven't done the membership functions correctly. Um, so, for example, with amplitude. We have uh, low, medium, and high because we were normalizing it. We are not normalizing anymore. So the amplitude should change. The maximum amplitude is about, uh, yeah, what you saw before, three, five, six. So we have to fix the code. Question is, should we do it today? Yeah, that was a false alarm clicking on the normal, normal ECG. Well, question, the question always is, I can't code myself. The question is if the code, the, the bots can uh, fix this for us. Let's try Copilot. No, we didn't need this. Let's start a new one. Uh, so there's a couple of things. So our sharpness is calibrated. Now the, yeah, the problem with the uh, raw uh, amplitude is there a calibration for the raw amplitude? Do we normalize that value or do we use the raw value? If so, it is not from 0 to 1. We might need to fix the code. The maximum value is about 360. That's looking at the entire Python script. Yeah, it's adjusting uh, normalization, dividing by the maximum value. Uh, let's uh, quickly amplitude universe. I'm mentioning amplitude like 37 times. Amplitude. Yeah, we only have the raw one. Yeah, should we normalize only the function? Uh, normalize using a max uh, value. Should we make it like 400 or something? Yeah, we don't like magic numbers. That's a quick fix. 
Um, okay, let's just give me zero all the time. Or should we try not um, looking at amplitude at all? Now it's one. That was a normal. Ah, no, that wasn't normal. Yeah, that's normal. The raw amplitude is always one. Uh, what should I divide it by? It was a 350 or something, wasn't it? Why is this giving me zero? Let me print this value out. Clear. 0.8. So, yeah, that's working perfectly. It's just not showing uh, a decimal places. And again, space. Row amplitude is not showing decimal places. It's finding what to look at. Taking forever. Sorry, I was muted. I can leave all the comments so it knows uh, what we were doing. And we have this image as an example. This. So we have a code. Now this code should have processed the waveform in the image as normal ACG waveform. It had a good number of positive and negative peaks. The amplitude should have been uh, uh, labeled as uh, normal. Can we double check that? I think that uh, might be what's what the problem is sharpness it uh, should have been okay so the abnormality score should have been low enough for the algorithm to make a decision that the waveform is normal yep. can we go over each uh, membership function and each uh, rule one at a time uh, specifically the one to do with uh, amplitude because that's what we changed uh, recently the calculation of it i just realized that the frequency actually was uh, uh, detecting the difference between uh, normal and one of those uh, examples where the r peak is uh, shifted uh, forward in time because that was producing a frequency of 5 and now we do not have a variable to detect it uh, we don't have a feature that we can use to detect that uh, variation yeah every time you fix something you break something else isn't it yeah so we already have this rule should be working okay yeah the amplitude needs to be tuned up okay, I think I know what the problem might be it's the amplitude scaling let's try 500 for a sec we get an amplitude of 0 0.6 then 0.7 so 0.7 should be in the normal range which is not quite true yeah this meant to be normal yeah we can manually tune it up so it's 0.6 Point 0.3 abnormal, uh, point 0.6 classifying that one as normal, I don't know why. The rules should just make sense. It's always one of those things that we should have just designed, you know, once and uh, not touch ever again. Should have just worked. Yeah, all right. Well, that rule now needs to. Not sure. Uh, this one might get a uh, might rewrite it without looking at the amplitude. It don't include amplitude. Just keep it simple. Yeah, so if positive peaks uh, too few or too many, the abnormality is likely. Yeah, I understand now. It kind of makes sense. I understand now why uh, that first one uh, gave a uh, miss because it was abnormal this one is wrong by the way why there's two negative peaks that's abnormal should have only one negative peak 
Yeah, there's something wrong with the negative peak detector. So that one is correct. And this one wasn't. It's a case of uh, one negative peak. When there is a... Uh, should be zero. Yeah, this one. Uh, can we check the negative uh, peaks? Um, the counter, the detector is uh, incorrect. It, uh, I don't know, can you explain why in the first two images it's detecting two negative peaks and the last image is detecting one. In all three cases there should be just one negative peak. A example uh, data in the image provided should have given only one negative peak. Instead, it's giving two. Can you look at the code and explain why and how to fix? Yeah. Doing filtering somewhere already. Because last time I was saying if the bot has access to filtered data, the human should as well. So it might like overlay the filtered a bit over the black one on the top yes we expect it to be smaller amplitude is there any filtering in this code which lines are filtering in this python code it's because it's too long yeah it might be way too long not doing frequency might be a problem Okay, can you summarize the whole session, the whole code that you have access to, all the modifications that we made? Can you also touch on uh, the difference between uh, peak uh, sharpness calculation and frequency analysis? Also, can you check the code for uh, any filtering that we are doing? Uh, I already checked, we do not uh, use field uh, functions, but I think there might be a different, uh, more simple uh, filter. Can you find that? And uh, we might be finishing now, so can you give an overall summary of how this application can be useful and if there is anything similar uh, in the wild? Yeah, we really broke uh, the fuzzy logic uh, detector. It doesn't uh, work at the moment. Uh, we'll have to fix it next time. Do go check out bionychaos.com and uh, don't forget to provide your feedback. See you next time. Bye.